I got the death certificate. I got the thing. I started doing my things already. You want to bury her anytime soon. Hashtag justice for Stephanie. This was the appeal after the January 23, 2021 discovery of the badly decomposed body of an unidentified female near the Pigeon Island Causeway. DNA results now finally confirmed what the mother of the deceased, Blenda Schalmine, already knew. When I saw the body on the ground, the Saturday night, I knew it was her. Me immediately I saw it was her because the feeling, the feeling I saw it was her. I went the following day, I did, I called them, I told them, that's my daughter, tell me how it's a shop. I say, everybody know their daughter, doesn't matter, burn how she is. I would know my daughter. I saw you the tattoo on her skin. She have a tattoo on her arm, on her waist. You would know her. Confirmation would come from law officials in late March, following analysis of DNA samples sent overseas. In the aftermath of the shocking discovery of Stephanie Thomas's body, the rumor mill churned. However, despite the tragic circumstances surrounding the life and death of a bright young St. Lucian woman, her mother remembers her fondly. Stephanie was outgoing. Not here, yeah, she's on the street, but she's outgoing. She did not care. She lived life. She, she lived life to the fullest. What would you want people to remember most about her? The life she lived. She lived a happy life. Not the way she dies, how she lived. The barbaric slaying sparked public outcry, especially after the indecent exposure of the remains splashed all over social media. For some, the picture's too graphic to bear. The haunting photos and tragic death prompted one woman to take to the streets in protests against violence against women. Now, Ella Felicien is calling for justice for her friend, Stephanie. Now that we established that the identity of that young lady that was taken is my dear friend Stephanie Thomas, we're not giving up. The person out there, I have a, I have a message for you. You think you're living your, your life happy and this woman is there struggling? I am there crying every morning for my friend. God will judge you. Whoever it is, I do not know your identity. I do not know you. Or maybe I know you and I don't even know you that, you that monster. Bring yourself forward. That girl did not deserve that. She was somebody too. Stephanie was one of the sweetest souls I ever met. Anyway, uh, uh, music hit, she was winking up. Right? She was somebody. You take an innocent person. She didn't even start her life as yet. And you took her life. And you out there, you live in your life. We will get justice. We will get justice. And I want to give a message to all the young ladies out there. Be careful of how you step. Be careful of who you go with. I'm not saying don't do what you have to do to survive. But be careful and remember to pray. The devil is out there, people. We need to be strong. And I want to encourage the mother. We're not going to have hatred in, your, in, our, in our heart for you. We forgive you. And St. Lucians, let us have sympathy for the both parents, both families, or both or whoever did it. We forgive you. All we want is justice. And also a mother with a message for her daughter's killer. Shalmine refuses to harbor hate and ill will in her heart. Rather, she too appeals for justice in the slaying of her daughter. I want to get justice. You do something and you do pay for it. There's some people saying, hey, we will make change, we'll make you in heart. No cafe, no bafe change. I want the person to pay. What does what that hurt her? Pay for what they did. Stephanie Thomas would have celebrated her birthday on March 13, 2021. Sadly, that was not the case. Despite confirmation of her identity, the cause of death of Stephanie Thomas remains unknown. Solaj Alfred, HTS News Force.